guys. So I didn't film the putting of it in, but we got my new desk, secretary desk, my new to me secretary desk, put in upstairs in the little nook where I like to sit in watercolor and paint and probably sketch at some point. I am still working through an overload of paint supplies. At some point, I'm probably gonna want to unload some things because I have too many. That's probably gonna be a thing, but not at the moment. It was just a struggle bus getting it in, and uh, but it fits beautifully. It fits everything I wanted it to. It looks much neater and cleaner, despite the fact that I still have way too many painting supplies. And uh, yeah, so I'll put a picture here. I absolutely love it. And I can see it being my little corner where I go to not only paint and draw, but to do some journaling and some writing. And I think it's a good little spot. All right, I'll be back. But anyway, <laughs> just, there's the new desk. It is in. Um, I didn't film putting it in because it was just too much, so I apologize. Um, I'll show you some of the changes I made in the art room in a minute. I do like to occasionally do abstracted watercolor paintings with like some like this one. And um, that means I'm using interesting weird things like toothbrushes and something like this or some sort of makeup thing or interesting things to make marks with which means I need a larger than normal watercolor pan and I was using something that was working okay but I got these sort of ice cube trays at the Asian market quite a while ago that I meant to transfer things over to and just never did so I did that today they come in a two pack if I can find a listing for them somewhere on the internet I will I just went to my local Asian supermarket they were called Con Con Yi Ice Tray. I'm sure I'm butchering that, but, and I apologize, um, but they came in a package like this. So anyway, um, I got that done. I moved all my watercolor painting and supplies into the new desk and I arranged it. I put everything in last night, like quickly, and then thought on it and came back up here today and arranged it. This is going to be my primary drawing and journaling desk, not just painting. I really love working in this corner and I wasn't just doing a lot of it because I didn't like the way it was set up. But now I can't say that's not true. I keep moving more things into the corner because I just love it so much. Now the desk is full of watercolor paint and palettes. Like that's a thing as is this is acrylic paint. I... I haven't bought paint in a long time and I have to physically run out of a specific color that I need and can't make a substitute for me to buy more paint because I just don't do that. Um, I have too much already. So um, yeah, that's not going to happen. But anyway, um, I'm still working on it. Um, but I love the way this is. All my journals now are over here in the corner so I can pull one out. I have um, this is sort of my spare supplies and inspiration bank, which it always has been. Um, I have, um, you know, extra pens and markers. I also have, like if I am working on a mixed media journal and I want images, I pull this one. If I want words, I pull that one. Um, that'll work just great for me. There's also, of course, sewing and crochet and knitting stuff down here. Um, I rearranged this quite a while ago and it's still working great. Um, on the table projects in process, process and frequently used items that I've been using more patterns and things like that. That's going to work better for me for the moment. Um, project, project, project. This little guy fell over again. It's not the first time he's fallen over. Anyway, he broke a leg, so we're fixing it. Um, 
And yeah, I have a small purge pile of things that I am going to go downstairs and grab a bag for. I'm going to let go of down there. And I am pretty happy with that. When it's closed up, it's very neat. And um, yeah, I'm going to move. I have some travel watercolor palettes and that sort of thing. I'm going to move them over here. And so everything's in the corner. And I'm not digging around in the closet, which I hate doing. I... I'm also excited to paint now. Uh, I do want to get a couple of larger canvases for the easel because I do, of course, as I just said, I'm still working on using up some paint and I have some stuff I want to use up. I need something to use it up on. So I have two small canvases. That's so not going to work. I have some things that were hanging on the wall, including a bulletin board that are no longer on the wall. I don't know if I'm going to put them back up or not, but we're not going to make any rash decisions. We're going to live with it for a little bit. In the meantime... I think that was pretty good progress. So I'm going to finish cleaning up, get a bag for the purging items, empty the garbage can because it's really full, and, and have some lunch. But I love it. I absolutely love it. It's pretty to look at. It wasn't expensive. Yes, the wood is like three different colors. It's got dings here and there missing veneer that was glued back on. I don't care. It's beautiful and it works and it just shows some character. It does have these two little, I put all my inks in here. I don't have that many left, but these actually pull out. I don't know what I'm going to put in them, um, but they both pull out and they have a little pocket. And these drawers, some paper samples, pencils, um, rags and plastic wrap. Yeah, and then the window. So, yep, I love it. Absolutely love it. These I got at Dollarama in Canada. These are great. This one is full of my watercolor paint brushes and things. I got this at Dollarama also, which is really cute. It's not as useful as much as cute, but I do have some things in it that'll it'll work. And yeah, I bought four of these, and I think I've used them all. Because um, one, two, yep, three, four. I love the way they look. Anyway, it's a furniture that's not intended for a creative space, but maybe it can work anyway. This definitely wasn't intended for a creative space, but believe me, it works. My sister has a similar desk, and she's very into positive energy, saging, and that sort of thing. And her desk is set up for that, and her desk is nearly identical. So um, it, they're not super expensive, especially if you get one that's seen some age and wear. Um, you can find one for pretty inexpensive. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, that took a little bit, but I think I finally got the vlog edited. <laughs> I didn't get a tutorial film today, but obviously just said I got some editing done um, and I didn't get any tutorials done because we were working on this. Have I said yet how much I love it? <laughs> anyway, um, all right, I'm gonna sit and have some water and let the computer do its thing and listen to some YouTube, I guess. Just work on a new crochet pattern because that I have to do. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, it is Tuesday afternoon, evening. Evening, I think it's 5.30ish, maybe six. Anyway, it's been babysitting day. Junior just went home with mommy and Muchete. Uh, Polyus is Lithuanian, the son-in-law, and that is Lithuanian for grandmother. I'm probably pr mispronouncing it because I don't roll my R's and stuff well, but it's as close as I can get. Anyway, she's here visiting. And so Be Becca picked her up at the airport. And, and um, I'm guessing because she's going to be here all week and her husband's driving up from California at the end of the week that that means I don't have any more babysitting this week. But we'll see. Anyway, Bob has a few more meetings and he is going to handle those. Got a porch pickup that's going to happen in the Buy Nothing group. And I've already taken my post babysitting shower because, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing and changed my clothes again. Um, little mister is teething again. He's getting molars in. And, uh, yeah, let's just, he is drooly, like, it's crazy anyway. So I'm gonna sit and relax now. Hopefully my end of the sofa is dry because little mister dumped my water over on the sofa earlier today. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm holding the phone with one hand that's got mail and a key in it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna sit and watch some YouTube and do some crocheting before Mr. gets off work, maybe drink my bone broth and then I'll have a salad when he comes down. I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, sorry about any sound you can hear in the background if you can hear it, the gardener's outside. Um, so I think I started this on Sunday and I knew I've been known I wanted to do a chevron sweater for a long time. Um, but finding one that didn't have seams, I really dislike seams. I like to crochet in the round. Um, that was difficult, but I found one I wanted to try. Now she admits in the pattern, and it is a free pattern, that she really only worked all the bugs out for her size, but she did some math to grade other sizes. Her name is, let's see, Esther Chandler. I will link the pattern down below. It's called the Chevron Stripes Three Season Sweater. I made it out of Premier Fruits. Premier. Sweet Roll Fruits. These. It took four of these to make the sweater with a little bit of left over. And I love the way it turned out. It's not as tight as hers is in the picture, but I'm okay with that because I didn't really want it that tight. Anyway, hang on one second. Let me prop you up somewhere. So here's the sweater. I was thinking about adding ribbon here, ribbon, ribbing here and at the waist and at the bottom of the sleeves. But then when I got it done, I decided, no, I really just like it the way it is. It is very cute. I can see it with a pair of my dad jeans or just my leggings like I have on today. It is a loose pattern. So it would be warm, but not too warm for like spring. Uh, but yeah, I, I really, and the colors remind me of the, when the cherry blossoms were blooming. I don't know what about you, but the color is dragon fruit. Mm, guess I should have asked myself these questions before I got on here. Yeah, dragon fruit. Um, and I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested, but you can make this out of any yarn, but what do you, what do you think? It is like three o'clock or something in the afternoon. I just, I could have gone somewhere cause it's not a babysitting day. I didn't have an appointments today, but I didn't want to. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> I didn't want to. I just wanted to work on my sweater. I'm glad I did cause I got it finished. I'm going to pull the next project, work on a couple of my sketchbooks, and listen to some YouTube. And tomorrow I'm not babysitting because my daughter's mother-in-law is in town to spend time with Junior. So I need to go to Trader Joe's. 
I might go to a couple other places. I don't really need anything, but just to, you know, get out of the house kind of deal. So anyway, but yeah, love my new sweater. All right, I'll be back. We are gonna go get some steps in real quick. And I finished the one sweater, figured out what I wanted to do with another bundle of yarn and got that all ready to go. Did some drying, all the things. So now it's time to go get some steps in. Before it rains again, cause it's, you know, May, but it's rainy and cloudy again. Welcome to Portland. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Thursday afternoon, 2.32 uh, p.m. I started the day off running a bunch of errands, including going to my local Joann's because I needed a couple of sewing parts. Um, one, I needed a zipper to fix that my dress that the zipper broke. And I needed another couple of random things, which I had trouble finding because Joann my Joann's is really, really messy, understaffed, and thin. They have a lot of fabric and a lot of yarn, but not a lot of anything else. And, and I asked the lady about it. I said, you know, are you just not getting inventory or are you going to be closing? Or she said, no, she said, they send us a whole truckload of stuff. They just sent us the same stuff we already have. Um, she said, no, we're not going anywhere. I said, oh, good. Cause I like your store. I never asked people and stores things like that so that was different um then i went to oh and i also went to goodwill i picked up a couple sweaters for projects we'll talk about in just a minute i went and ran went to a couple of grocery stores and ran groceries uh got groceries for a family dinner night tomorrow so anyway i picked up a couple sweaters at goodwill i didn't pay more than six or seven dollars for either of them um, this one is a men's sweater. It happens to be 100% cashmere, which I knew it was soft, but I didn't know that when I picked it up. I was going to cut the sleeves off of it and make it a, a sweater vest, but I think I'm just going to wear it as it is. Um, it's a v-neck. This is the best I can do. Anyway, it is... The brand is 2AM. I don't know, but it's 100% cashmere. Believe me, that's soft. I also got a Croft and Barrow um, cardigan with pockets, similar to this one pictured here. I'll put a picture. Um, I knew I wanted to make a sweater vest. I saw one on another YouTuber when she was talking about something else and she does upcycle clothing and stuff. But that's not what she was talking about. Anyway, um, I wanted to do something like what she was wearing in the video, which I thought was really cute, but black. And I found a Croft and, that Croft and Barrow cardigan and this other one. Um, the Croft and Barrow one would be perfect. So I cut the sleeves off and made it into a tank top. I already did that. Now, and then I went through my button stash and I found three black buttons. So I'm going to sit and sew them on. Um, I used my serger uh, around the edges um, of the armholes and some stay tape which is like a stretchy interfacing to just give the the 
um, edge a little bit more stability. Um, and then I also took in the sides a little bit um, up here so that I could wear it with just a tank top underneath it or um, without, I, I, things don't show in the armhole. We don't need bag in the armhole. Anyway, um, I'm gonna sew the buttons on. I've tried it on a couple times for button placement. So I'm gonna sew the buttons on and then I'll try it on for you. So I'll be right back. Okay, are you ready? I can see wearing this a lot with a tank top underneath it and a pair of leggings or a cute skirt. I actually have a skirt that would go with this that I found thrifted. Anyway, you ready? All right, so here you go. It's got pockets. I've got three buttons here to sort of keep it closed and in the front. Um, you could add more buttons if you wanted or less, but I like just the three with my leggings. No sleeves, which means I can get away with wearing it in the winter uh, with something with sleeves. But in the spring and summer too, when it's warmer, this is perfect. So anyway, and this is the other sweater that I just, I think I'm gonna just wear it as is. I don't have the heart to cut it up. It is a men's large, so it's gonna be a little bit big for me, but I mean, I really like it. Plus, I think it would also just be cute with a pair of leggings or a skirt. So, uh, And if I did cut the sleeves off, I'd have to try to frog the yarn because it's ca cashmere. Cashmere. Anyway, all right. On to the next project? All right, I'll be back. Say good morning, but it's almost 4 o'clock. <clears throat> I barely slept last night because of my throat and asthma were bothering me all night. I, it's hard for me to tell sometimes when I have a cold unless I get a high fever or get severely congested because I want to cough all the time since I had the work injury that caused the asthma in the first place. So there's that. So it's definitely an extra coffee day. It's also Friday, May 24th, I think. 23rd. 24th. I don't know for sure. It's Friday. Family dinner night. Uh, adopted daughter's coming over. Her husband is busy. Uh, the other two kids are also coming over with Junior. And son-in-law's parents are in town. So everybody's coming over. I'm going to need more coffee for this because, again, barely slept last night. Anyway, I'm going to check the mail. I'm in between fixing things for dinner. And... I saw a post that said the mail was here. And yes, it is. Yay. Might be my bone scan results, which I'm guessing if I didn't get a call, phone call from the doctor, there's either no change or nothing to be concerned about. Either that or it's a bill. Could go either way. All right. I also made great progress on the sweater I'm working on. And I think the body part's almost done. I've had to rip it out a couple times. Um, because of sizing and stitch count, but that's to be expected. And uh, once I get the body done, then I can separate the back from the front and do the back, which will be straight up, and then do the front, which I'm going to do some shaping on, which is not on the pattern. And then do the sleeves. So yeah, I might add some ribbing to it. It'll depend on two things, how it looks without it, and if I have enough yarn because we're kind of playing yarn chicken. I'll hey be guys, back. It is almost five o'clock on Saturday, May 25th. Yes. I got that right, that's a miracle. Um, so little one was over at my house on Tuesday and he was getting more teeth in and had a little bit of a runny nose and was, you know, not super happy. I just chalked it up to the teeth. 
So I don't care really what the doctors say. It seems like the kids either come down with something when they're teething or come down with something because they're teething or anyway. Um, about 24, 48 hours after he left, I started not, if, not feeling well. So far, Mr. has been fine. But so I'm kind of tired and dragging today. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got pretty congested last night, but I seem to be okay. I'm still tired. But anyway, we went out and went grocery shopping and I dragged him to the craft warehouse. <laughs> yeah. Um, planning a couple more sweater projects and I needed um, yarn to go for one of them. And um, he found some stuff he wanted while we were there. So now we're gonna just go over to the mall and like walk around. We know we should get some steps in. We know we should walk around. It's just gray and gloomy outside. We don't really need anything. We don't need really need anything, we don't but need nothing. No, not really. We've got a house full of stuff. But we're gonna go walk around the mall anyway. You never know what'll happen. I'll be back. You know what you find. Oh, it's a little bumpy. I'll be back. Hey guys. Alrighty. It's like ten thirty six or something. And we are wrapping up the day. It's been a fun week. I got. A lot, I feel like I got a lot of projects done this week. Um, I also am working on a sweater out of the Cascade 220 Superwash. And I'm sort of playing a little bit of yarn chicken because I'm not exactly sure if I have enough yarn to do this sweater or not. I think I will, but I'll let you know in the next vlog. Um, I'll link the pattern down below. It is really cute easy to do. I did decide to do it in um, the round instead of do the front, do the back, do the sleeves and sew everything together. Um, and again, if that works the way I think it's going to, I'll do a review uh, next week and show you all the finished sweaters. So stay tuned. Um, anyway, um, we've had a lot of fun this week. Um, a lot of people visiting, good times with the grandson and all of that stuff. And at the same time, we were able to get stuff done today that we wanted to get done. And we um, did go to the craft store today, one that's kind of far away from the house I don't go to often. And I got some yarn for another project. Mr. bought something for himself for a project he wants to do too. He didn't actually expect to find the parts for it at nope. the, over there, but he did. So... We'll be working on that and I'll show you guys. Anyway, I hope our life with art and creativity and working regular everyday living into the schedule gives you some ideas of what you can do if you want to be creative and you think you're too busy or how are you going to work that in? If I can work it in, you can work it in. So anyway, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.